this isn't even scripted. I'm doing the intro. Iron Leaves is really bad. This is the move set guide. I, I don't know how to spin it. This Pokemon's like really bad. Usually I do like these edited intros where I go, oh, this Pokemon is like one of the strongest in the four. No, we're just, we're just going to get into it. Okay. This channel is partnered with Gamersubs. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersubs through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTED at checkout for 10% off. Gamersubs is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. Okay, Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves is so bad. Um, so it's funny that Iron Leaves is bad because its base stat total is really high, uh, but they like royally screwed up with this thing. Oh, also, if you enjoy this, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so basically uh, its base stat total is nice. It's, it's got like 590 BST. Uh, its stats are pretty, like, great. Like, uh, it should be good if it didn't have the traits that it had everywhere else. It's got 90 HP, 130 attack, 88 defense, 70 special attack, 108 special defense, and 104 speed. Its ability is Quark Drive, and it has this cool exclusive move called Psy Blade, which we're not going to run on, like, almost any of these movesets. Uh, because it's, like, almost pointless to run Psychic Stab on this guy. Uh, basically, during Electric Terrain, this thing gets 1.5 times power, and in, like, Psychic Terrain, it gets, like, 1.3 because it's a Psychic-type move. Uh, but yeah. So, let's just, let's just get right into the moveset. Um, Iron Leaves is a Grass and Psychic-type, and its stats are good, and for this first moveset, we're gonna use Booster Speed because you need it. So, let me talk about this real quick. This thing, like, just doesn't work. Um, I don't care what anyone in the comment section has to say, like, I've tried it, like, every which way to the point where, when we're building the actual team for this thing, uh, we just decided to go with the most wacky moveset possible because we're like, at least it'll be fun. It wasn't even fun. <laughs> it wasn't even fun. Uh, but yeah. So, Iron Leaves, uh, it is a Grass and Psychic type, meaning it takes times four from U-Turn, bug move specifically, but mostly U-Turn. Uh, it's weak to Poison, Ghost, Fire, uh, Dark flying it's it's weak to so much and you think that being offensive would help it but here's the issue with it it needs the speed boost to get anything done because it's only 104 speed and normally that wouldn't be an issue being above 100 speed is fine but not when you have a weakness this big like the grass psychic like offensively it doesn't hit that much you get walled by steel which is why we're running sacred sword on most of the movesets but yeah so uh, all right let's just get into the first moveset um, we're running Booster Energy Speed, Protect, Swords Dance, Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword. We're running 92 HP, 156 Attack, 4 Defense, 4 Special Defense, and Max Speed Jolly. This is so you can Speed Boost instead of Attack Boost because it's mandatory, otherwise you get Outsped by Fluttermane, but guess what? If they have Tailwind or if they have Speed Boost, uh, Booster Energy, you get Outsped anyways, uh, and you get Threatened. So, <clears throat> I would say, uh, you should run Terra Ghost. It just makes it easier for you to, ironically, becoming a Ghost type while you still have that Ghost and Dark Weakness. Uh, you have less weaknesses overall, so that's good. Uh, but allows you to Swords Dance uh, pretty freely. And then at that point, unless you like face off against an Incineroar, which will intimidate you, Sacred Sword would do a decent amount. Uh, Leaf Blade does pretty good if you crit. So that's that's nice. That's like the first move set. I will say <clears throat> this is probably the move set I recommend the most if you're gonna run it generally. It's just the one that's gonna let you function as a Pokemon. Everything beyond this point is going to be mostly like cheese or some like interesting little thing it can do. Uh, but yeah, as far as partners go, uh, there's a few things you can do for the full, for the last move set. I'll tell you a wacky partner, but uh, other partners, Tornadus, Urshifu, Incineroar. I don't know. This thing like shouldn't function. I used Wo Chen, right? And Wo Chen's already struggling for a grass type slot on a team. But this thing's competing with Rillaboom. It's competing with like every Ogre Pond variant, Amoongus. And as far as like offensive Pokemon go, you might as well run Rillaboom because Rillaboom's just like, it hits harder than this thing. It's got priority. It has fake out U-turn. There's not really a point to this guy. People are going to be like, no, hear me out. Hear me out. I'm not, I'm not hearing you out. Okay. Next moveset, boost your energy. Exact same EVs. Who would have thought? Um, but this one's got coaching. So instead of boosting yourself, you're running Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, Protect and coaching. Coaching lets you boost a better Pokemon like an Urshifu or... I don't know, an Ogre Pond or, I don't know, a Landorus, uh, Landorus Therian, of course. But yeah, Coaching gives plus one defense, plus one attack. Basically, it's a targeted bulk up. Instead of bulking up yourself, you bulk up a partner. And yeah, I mean, it's fast. It does its thing. 
we're still Terra Ghost. The last moveset is going to be the most interesting. Um, I, I don't know. Last moveset, this is what I'm using in the video. It is going to be 108 HP, 148 attack, 252 speed. I could have done like a little bit more attack. This is just what I used in the video. Uh, we already recorded it, by the way. That video went horrible. Um, but I'll also showcase this after the, after the, you know, moveset guide. Uh, but yeah, basically, Psyblade, Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword Protect. This is going to be the most fun way to use Iron Leaves because you have a weakness policy. But basically, it's still a speed boosting set. And its whole deal is you run it with a Pinkurchin who sets up Electric Terrain, allowing for you to have your Quark Drive activate. And, you know, it's the slowest terrain setter. So versus Indeedy or Rillaboom, you'll have terrain dominance. And you go for Side Sucker Punch and Psyblade. And that hits really hard because it's a stab move that has a 50% increase in electric terrain. Uh, you also have the 50% increase because it's stab. And then it's times two because you have weakness policy. Other than that, Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, Protect. And I'll be honest, that's like all I got for this guy. I'm sure someone's going to be like, but Moxie boosted. Have you ever heard of the Iron Defense Leaf Storm set? Or have you heard of the Trailblaze Throat Chop or the Giga Impact M Mystic Ma Magical Leaf or something? I haven't. No, I haven't. I don't think I want to. Uh, this thing, despite my best efforts, has eluded me. I cannot... I, you you know me. Like I, I'm the guy who tries to make everything work. I got really high on ladder with Honchkrow. This thing is just bad, man. It's just... It's, I'd rather run any other grass type than this thing. Like a vile plume would be better. But yeah, let's, let's get into the very quick showcase before I, I lose my mind. Okay, here we are. You might notice my rank is low. This is because after I tried to use the team uh, for the actual recording, we're gonna you can we're gonna we're gonna use the team. We're gonna use the team. Uh, so where is it? Where where is it? I I rented it. Here it is, like a tree. So you might be wondering why does the team look like this? It's because it's supposed to be silly and goofy. I swear, the video coming out with this team will be silly and goofy, and we'll have fun, and I'll only have a slight mental breakdown at the end. We're gonna try to use it to showcase just like one of the ways you could use iron leaves at least a fun way at the end of the moveset guide so this isn't the full video full video drops tomorrow maybe the day after we'll see uh but yeah uh we're gonna try to use it all right 4048 um okay that's not that bad i mean like i said iron leaves even though it's fast with any amount of speed control it feels like you don't get anything done um, let's just go for it. Let's just go for the gimmick, uh, in the back here, Incineroar. Wow, I, I mean, like, they're also running a bit of a gimmick. Like, I already know what's going on here. Um, I think we can get away... Is there any way we prevent the Trick Room? I don't know. I think maybe we bring... Incineroar in case they don't end up bringing the Bruxish. And for the last Mon, uh, uh let's just bring you why not okay or actually maybe we can reverse the trick room and do something i don't know i don't care who cares all right let's do this i'm honestly so glad that we waited till the end to do this moveset guide this is the last dlc moveset guide technically this guy's been in the game for a while but he just became legal so i didn't have to cover him All right, a side blade should one shot this thing, but I don't know how much more value we're gonna get out of this thing. All right, side blade here. I'll go for the side sucker punch. Why not? As they withdraw, am I just gonna KO something? Don't be incinerator. Okay, I, we somehow managed to do the impossible. I don't even know if they had an Incineroar, but I'm pretty sure this KOs. This is plus two with the electric terrain boost and stab. You better drop. I I am going to throw up. I, 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 I'm, I feel sick. I feel sick. This Pokemon's so bad. I'm going to throw up. I'm gonna throw up. If they have ally switch, it's over, but the pink urchin can clean up. Oh, 
Okay, thank you, Pink Urchin. You finished the job that this thing couldn't. Lunar Blessing, don't care. Cope. Look at that. Like, it doesn't even do half with a super effective Leaf Blade to a Cresselia. Alright, there's Reggie Drago. Um... I mean... I mean... What do we even do here? Any damage we go for will be recovered off. Three turns off to Trick Room. I guess we could try to KO the thing next to it. Nah, let's just go for the Reggie Drago. Who cares? I think Thunderbolt is technically my strongest move, even though Sucker Punch is unresisted. Paralyze. Critical hit? Okay, hold on. Dragon Energy will live that... Okay. My eject button activated. We'll get in the Incineroar. We have Fake Out Pressure now. And unless this Cresselia has Ice Beam, they can't KO my guy. They have Lunar Blessing. I think we still just KO. This is a really strong move. Or at least I'd like to think so. Thank you. Okay. And we got a rage quit. Um, so I know I just like talked so much trash about this thing in the last five minutes, ten minutes even, uh, including the moveset guide. But yeah, I mean, don't expect this to happen anytime soon again. I hate this Pokemon. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about Iron Leaves and uh, what topics you want me to cover next because we're done with moveset guides. Have a nice one.